Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen how we can send the data to the component. Okay, so invert we have seen sending the data into the component. Now in this video we will see how we can get the data from the component. Nothing but what can say component communication. Okay, so in order to get the data from the component, so it will be a little bit of different. Let's see some simple example. I will remove this all the code whatever the code I have written I will remove this all the code okay now let's think you have a coupon okay so let's think you have a coupon now you when this coupon is applied you need to know somehow in this parent in this parent container you need to so this one is the child it is present inside the app right so this app is the parent content parent one and this coupon is the child one now now when in this in this child component whenever the coupon is applied you need to know somehow to the parent comp to the parent that the coupon is applied so this is the requirement that means you need to in uh, somehow get the data from this component and intimate to this parent component that the coupon is applied so do whatever the things you want to do so this is the thing we need to do we need to go so for example uh, we have coupon so let's create the sample coupon component here I will create the new view instance okay um, el element will be the hash app now we will create the new component view dot component and here I am having the coupon new one so object and template let's in this one let's have uh, one this one will be the root node and here i will write one input type is equal to text okay and placeholder is equal to enter coupon okay this is the basic one and we'll have a button type is equal to button okay now uh, enter coupon and we have the button with text enter coupon now we have added this coupon component here now we will try to see the code if I refresh it here yeah so I have a coupon enter coupon okay enter coupon so when you click on this button the coupon so now the requirement is now what I have to do is when I click on this button when I enter the any coupon and when I click on this button I somehow send that coupon to the parent component okay from this component I need to send the coupon what is the coupon the user has typed I need to send that one coupon into the parent component let's see now first step is what is that one so I need to take the component when the user clicked on the button right so let's let's add the click button on coupon clicker okay so simple thing we will have on coupon clicker so in this component we will have methods okay so methods sorry on coupon clicker okay on glue group. so here now I need to write the logic here what I need to write the logic when the user clicked on this button I need to send somehow the data to the parent component nothing but this app app means nothing but this to this view instance okay so I need to somehow send the data to this view so send the data to the view instance view instance means nothing but anything it's whether it may be the component or whether it may be the view instance to the parent okay so how we can send the data is this dot dollar emit okay it is emitting the data okay this component is emitting the data so for this emit we need to have some unique identifier so let's keep the text something like coupon applied okay coupon applied so I am emitting with a single unique name coupon applied so now whoever will be the parent okay whatever will be the parent okay so now this one is applied coupon applied okay in this component so the whoever is listening to this coupon applied 
so for this coupon applied coupon execute a method in the parent component okay on coupon applied so whenever this component emits an event of the type coupon applied so here in this component so uh, this one uh, coupon applied emitted and immediately this method will be executed in the parent component okay so we need to write this method in the parent so methods what we can do is on coupon applied just see we will see alert coupon got to the parent okay now we will try to refresh and we will enter the coupon and we will click on this one see the code got executed in the parent when a, when the button is clicked on the component right so what happened here is when the user clicks on that coupon enter coupon button so immediately it is emitting coupon applied event to the parent so immediately when this coupon emits this coupon applied uh, so we are immediately executing the method in the parent so on coupon applied it, it is executing that on coupon applied so whatever the code you are having it will be executed in this parent thing now so somehow we we invoked the method in the parent when when an action is applied and we are trying to invoke the method in the parent we invoked the method fine but now what i what my requirement is i need to pass the data whatever the data is present whatever the data i need to send to the parent component or where parent instance any anything whatever it may be parent thing we need to send the data to that one so how we can send so here this dollar this dot dollar emit also takes second parameter whatever the data you need so you can have what object you can have or otherwise you can send the data so whatever the data you want to send second argument it will be the data so now i need to send the whatever the user enters into the input box i need to send the data so what i will do i will create the v model here okay so these are all the concepts covered in the previous videos only so that's why i am not uh, uh, going deep into this v my model and all the things okay so we will uh, declare variable so coupon so at the initial step we will keep it as empty only so coupon now i refreshed this button again now i i entered I entered the data whatever I want okay I clicked on the coupon I got the okay fine now what I will do is I need to send the data so what I will do I will simply send the data I will simply send that coupon here so here what it will happen is on coupon applied for this method automatically the data what you have sent for, for that method so it will be passed as an argument so you can directly add this coupon so here what you can do so plus this no, sorry not this you can add directly coupon now you will see if i refresh it here if i enter anything see you got the coupon whatever you entered in this component so for uh, for nice the representation what you will do is what we can do is so here down we'll apply one div tag okay you used the coupon okay uh, we will write the coupon name now what we can do is in the main.js so we can have one data variable okay so initial type coupon will be empty and also we will take is coupon applied is equal to empty uh, sorry false you can maintain okay first time the code coupon is when the user clicks on the button only you will show this coupon now what we will do is we can make that dot is coupon applied is equal to true and we can save that coupon whatever we got the coupon from that component we will save this one here okay now when i refresh it here we are able to see the user coupon it should not be visible when it when it should be useful visible means so when the user enters here when the you got the coupon only then it has to get visible so what we can do so that is the reason we have created a flag here is coupon applied at the initial stage coupon is not applied so after user clicks on the button or after this method is executed only the coupon applied will become true why why means so this coupon applied method will be invoked only by this emit 
so now what you can do is you can write a if function we if and if if it is coupon applied right now what i can do i can do the thing and i can see the output see so in this way you can do the component communication so this component communication will be useful only to the child and parent relationship only so child and parent communication only you, you will be able to see you will be able to use this communication if you have a siblings or unrelated component so there is no relation between the components if you have con component and component in the side in the same level tree siblings so you can say siblings so for example it is if it is in the parent parent if the component is there means so we can use the another type of event communication so let's see that one in the next video so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you